Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 16 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to finish everything. We added the sheets and we printed the sheets and I showed you how to uh, add it on the sheets to all the views. So now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, right now, I'm at the 3D view. If I want this to be the starting point of this project, what you can do is click on manage and then starting view. I'm basically telling Revit that every time I open this, um, I want my view to be this uh, rendering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the 3D view, which is this one. So it's 3D view one. So now I'm going to select that and then press OK and then save it. And then now every time I open this um, project, uh, this is what it will be showing. So now let's go back to 3D view, not the rendering view. And then here we're planning to add it to Revit now. So before that, make sure that you're in fine. And then you can put it in hidden or whatever you want. I'm just going to set it up like that. Click on finish and save. After that, we have our twin motion plugged in right here. And we can basically see it in twin motion now. So send it there. It will create a direct link and it will synchronize. So once it's uh, synced, to twin motion it will ask you if you want a new project or an existing project so this is a new project so just press ok and then it will synchronize again as you can see um, we have a new version already so i'm just going to continue working with the 2022 and then after that this is what we're having basically we have our uh, model directly to twin motion um, and then what I could do is go back here and then or go to the import burger menu and then I want to sign into my epic games so this is what it looks because this is multiple times that I signed this one so it will directly have all my information right here uh, we have our scene graph on the right side and then burger menu on the left side and then after this, what we're going to do is click on material first and then let's zoom in on the glass and we're basically going to put this one on a two-sided glass. After that, I'm going to increase the opacity to around 60 and then change the color to something dark. After that, I'm going to press OK. And I'm happy with that. Zoom it right here and then click on material picker and select the mullion. And right here, I want my aluminum to be dark. So that's good enough. Um, you can change the... Or you can um, see or handle the movement by using your A, uh, your WASD, that is uh, W is the forward, S is the backward, A is left, and then D is right. So you'll be able to do use that. And then after that, we can click on other materials. So I'm going to set this one to probably a wood material. So I'm going to go to my materials right here and add something that is wood and I'm going to increase the view or the scale right here and up to my liking so I'm gonna increase it more as you can see it's too small I want the planking to look good and why not go to our Quixel Mega Scan? They have 
a large variety of plants that I like. And one thing that I like the most is one of this one with fa facade. We could download that. We have this gray one as well. Let's download that as well. So you can basically choose some of this right here. And wooden cladding. Wooden planks. So I'm just downloading some of them. And we could just add it right there. And as you can see, it's too fast. So I'm going to put it to number three in order for us to zoom it nicely. We could add a different one because I don't like the way it looks. This is too old looking. So let's find another one. So I'm just going to download multiple ones and see how it looks this is some wooden this is the one that we used and then let's add this one as well this one is too that's just too much I don't like the black one because I want it to have a, a natural wood finish. Maybe this one is the one that I'm looking for. I just forgot which one. This is nice enough. Let's increase the size. I think this is good enough. And then let's try different ones. So this one is good enough. And it is the same look as that one. So I'm happy with that. So we have the wood. And then why not add a wood material right here but a veneer one. So for this one, maybe mahogany or North Indian wood veneer. But something that is simple enough. That it's not overpowering. And then we could just even add just a black paint. So let's go back right here. So wall covering. I'm going to add in a matte painted wall and then change it quickly to a dark. And then we could even turn on the metalness so that it's looking like that. And then maybe I'm going to decrease the darkness of this one. And then select this one so that it looks kind of similar to the darkness of the door I believe that's good enough and then what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to go to metal and let's do a metal panel And then here, we're going to put it at a gray metal that is very light. And as you can see, we could create a little bit of reflection. But at the same time, we're going to go with a 
chestnut finish on this one for the wood that's looking good and then here um, let's do this one first this one should be a dark metal wall paint and then here we could just make it dark so that looks good right there and then here we could just change this to something like a tile but something good enough maybe this one I'm gonna decrease the reflection and then I'm gonna increase it I want a white one so that looks really good obviously we're gonna change this material to black we could increase this reflection and then metalness this one as well most of the time once you put in a metal material it doesn't change it to that one instantly you need to turn on the metalness so that it will reflect that one and then after that maybe a stone material for all of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on material again and then snow and then I'm gonna set up one of this I'm gonna choose this one instead and we're gonna put this one to the same thing same material so instead of that I'm gonna set this up first so that it looks good and then at the same time I'm gonna add it there so that it has the same um, scaling so that's nice enough to see how it looks and there's an issue right here that we can fix later on uh, most of the time when we're doing sections what will happen is it will give us some errors like that so this one this is an exterior wall that needs to be grounded but we did add a split face but the split face is giving us some issue we could just handle that later on um, that's something that usually happens all the time um, if not if we cannot handle it or we, if we cannot change it right away that will be fine as well but it it's something that can be changed here I'm just gonna make it dark enough to have this one and then the reflection actually I'm going to bring it down and then maybe scale it a bit big so maybe five and I just want it to be simple like this and what we could do afterwards is to add a vehicle I'm gonna put in a car and it will be just this type of car change the orientation to 90 and I'm just gonna change this to a red material so that it's visible outside and then just put it right there so 
that's good enough and then here what I can do is make this one really black so that it's noticeable the other thing that we forgot to add is um, an exterior um, an exterior lighting and also for this one this is I, I think this two-sided same thing as what we have right here before we forget uh, make sure to save this and then put it to the proper folder I'm gonna call it MJ house and then save it and you have to do some saving all the time um, and then after this let's add in the concrete floor right here so ground man-made we have some concretes right here that we could add I'm just gonna add it here and then change the orientation or rotation so 90 degrees so that one looks good and then at the same time we will create something right here as well this one changed to this orientation so the flooring and then after that why not just add concrete right here we can even darken it a little bit more Think that's good enough and then we're gonna put around here um, also what we could do is we could go to our settings right here click on camera make sure parallelism is turned on visual effects and then here we us I usually go on to blue tint I like the the freshness of the blue tint and uh, I like how it looks so that's good and then also what we can do is click on path tracer I just want to see how it looks from a low angle and that looks good I'm going to change the environment to a backdrop HDRI and we could just undo this first and then here once we have the backdrop we could change the offset of this one to go down a bit you can see and then change the rotation something like that why not just follow along right here and then we could change the size of this if we want to intensity it's up to you if you want to in intensify So 
for me it depends on how the look right now changing the intensity will increase something like that and then we could increase the ambient as well and that looks good I'm happy with the way it looks and then after that we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below